there is a woman called Ingose. Please come out. Ingose, as beautiful as you are, they use shit to rub your body. And anybody that has shit too, that can say, I love you. Outwardly, people look at you beautiful. Anything bad, they have using it to rub your body. Your image, your Guys, body. Thank you so much for giving me one more time. My name is Timothy Profitable, and this is Blevoy. I come to you today in the name of the Lord. Now, many times, doing this episode is one of the most exciting, this particular one. And um, I want to come in from this different dimension. You've heard several people talk about false prophets. You hear them talk about and mentioning names, false ministry, or you hear occultic powers, occultic movement, occultic this and that. I don't want to foundation them. But uh, there are things that you don't like with them. But then we have Jesus Christ that makes us more than conquerors. Let love lead. So many times when you deal with this factor of, uh, oh, of uh, great prophetic and great apostolic, you will read to a place where you will start hearing much and so many other things that really come in in form of uh, mentioning of false, false this, false that, false this, false that. Now, this is my talk with you in this fact that so many people that are there in the movements of cultic, they have been either lured into them or deliberately joined or even not that deliberately, they found themselves they can't come out. Sometimes that's how to. So the reason why I'm doing this episode is only one. To ask and go to the comment section with the answers. Why people join cults and occultic movements? Why do you think people do join the occultic movements? Why do you think people join the cults? Now, doing my own personal study and personal research, on this matter, I've come to find several factors. One of them is greed. Number two is rejection. Now, these two, among many other reasons why people join deep occults and deep cults. Now, I want to talk about only one today in this episode, that's rejection. Now, why people join cults and occultics? Most of them face rejection especially in their childhood. This force of rejection, if somebody gets contact with it, faces it head on, and now finds that this is too much, rejection is a force that God can use to build a man, and Satan can use it to break a man. So, and God wants to make you and consecrate you into his tool, his vessel. He allows rejection. He doesn't bring it. He allows it. For you to find God in his capacity. With faith that only God can make you a person that is required. And on the other side also. We have the devil who also takes advantage of rejection. And brings people during their childhood so far. This happens so much during childhood. Especially children who are rejected and children who are neglected children who are mistreated and in fact children who deal a lot with bitterness and they are quiet with it the devil used them to recruit them into occult because they now want association and we find that when the moment they start doing this you realize they draw closer closer to every occultic move every instruction from the other side because they are looking for the sense of belonging this is also the type where you find a prophet, once a prophet fails or a pastor fails in his mission, they join cults. They now start seeking support from witchcraft. They now start seeking powers from different places. And when this one takes place now, they retract. They lose. This is why the Bible says they started in the spirit and they finish in the flesh. And that's one of the wrong things. 
Now, rejection is one of the biggest causes of people joining orcas. What do you think about this? Go to the comment section and talk to me right there. And then like, share this video, talk to your friend, call them. Let's make it a forum and discuss it in this platform. God bless you. I'm Timothy Prophet one more time. And uh, this is Playboy TV. We handle your spirituality, economic and social matters. See you in the next episode.